I think that's probably one of the best questions anybody's ever asked. And a lot of times, like I said, this is why meeting with a real estate professional earlier is better because you have a little bit of time. We have some first time home buyers, they come in and they say, well, I wanna wait until I have paid off all of my student loans before buying a house. Unfortunately, it's not usually the best philosophy for home buying because when buying a home, we find most people, the problem is not that they don't make enough money. The problem is that they don't have enough in savings. And closing costs on the average home are between ten dollars and $12,000 for first time home buyers. You can always pay down those student loans if you end up not needing as much cash as you've saved. But we have yet to come across a first time home buyer who complains that they saved too much money. That's one specific. Another is that a lot of people don't realize there are agencies out there that can help improve your credit score. And if they're given 90 to 120 days, they can in fact, some of these agencies that we've referred clients to can improve their, the client's credit score by up to 100 points. This makes a huge difference, especially with lower down payment financing. The less money you're putting down, the more the lender cares about your credit score. If you're putting 50% down, boy, they, they almost don't even care. Do you have a heartbeat? Sure, great, here's a loan. But if you're putting 5% down or 3% down, that credit score can not only make the difference whether you get a loan, but it can make a difference on the payment. And that difference could be hundreds of dollars a month. Another thing too is debt load. Sometimes we do have clients where their debts are the biggest thing that are kind of standing in their way. So when we sit down with clients, especially early on and their finances aren't in order, a big thing is really establishing just a strategy. It's kind of looking at your individual situation and figuring out what are the action steps you need to take. And again, that's the reason why we like to talk to people as early as possible because the more time we have, the more opportunity there is to improve your financial situation and get things in order.